So, uh, how's your, what happened in the first half? You got elbowed? I got a clothesline, going for a rebound. Um, just went out, they looked at my jaw. Everything's intact, so I'm good. Just, just a hard smack, huh? Yeah, a little, we had cupcakes in the locker room, a little hard to chew, but I'm all right. You were nervous there for a minute when you were laying there thinking about yeah, actually I was. I really was. When I first happened, I thought it was going to be like really bad. Um, but obviously, you know, I got up and came back in, so I was fine. I was just nervous. Like right when it happened, I was a little skeptical of what actually happened because my mouth hurt so bad. So, I'm good. About the team's first performance of the year, I mean, everybody seemed to get involved and everybody yeah. was active. Um, yeah, especially that first half, we, we really played well as a team. Um, really good pressure out of the press. Um, everyone was making shots. It wasn't just a couple guys. Um, you know, Zach was knocking out his shots. Dev was playing well. Mel was rebounding the ball really great. Um, you know, just straight down the line, everyone was contributing. Um, picked it up in the second half, too. Um, you know, that's a, a pretty good team we played, and it was good to come out with that intensity and, you know, push the lead up to 30 at the end. And, you know, it was a good good team win. Did you guys take your foot off the gas at all there, you think? I don't think so. I mean, there was a, a, a stretch there in, at the beginning of the second half where we were just trading baskets with them when we were up 21. Um, coach took us out and wasn't very happy with our intensity on the defensive end. And then when we got back in there, uh, me, Dev, and Zach came back in. Um, we pushed it back up to, I think it was up to 33 when we came out. So, you know, maybe there was a, a stretch there where we were trading baskets with them, but we never took our foot off the, uh, off the gas. What are your thoughts on the freshmen in this first game? They're big time. I mean, I've been telling you guys that every, every question you asked, I've had nothing but good things to say about them. Um, very professional. Uh, Adam got it going there in the second half. Um, you know, I told him coming out of, out of the tunnel, you know, let the game come to you. Um, you. You play hard and you're going to get baskets at that size. And, you know, especially on a team like that where we drive and they collapse, he's going to be right there for the dump off. Uh, good, did, did good on the boards. Uh, Mike played well. Uh, even Sappy went in there and was creating with the second team. And, you know, right down, even Pat. Pat went in there at the end, made a good move. So, I mean, the freshmen are, are, are big time. Are they shy about asking you for advice about what it's like starting Not at freshmen? All. No, I, I came up to every one of them and I said, you know, if you need any help with, with anything, come up to me, whether it's basketball-wise or, you know, the transition coming from high school to this. Um, you know, I don't know everything, but, you know, I went through it last year, and, you know, all the guys went through it. But, you know, I just wanted to be open about it, and if they wanted to, any advice, I was here for them. So. How do you feel you guys are able to adjust, considering that Coach McCaffrey was talking about how when you guys would drive to the lane, they would go for the foul and not want you to get the layup. Mm -hmm. So how did you have to go about, you know, adjusting that and then, you know, settling to get into the free throw line? Yeah. Um, well, I looked at the stats briefly, but I didn't see how many free throws we shot. Mm -hmm. I think we shot a good amount. Um, you know, when we got inside, they, they really did just follow us. They didn't let us get up easy. Um, but really, what they were giving us was that in-between game, the pull-up game. They, they ran us off the three-point line and wanted us to shoot the in-between game. But no, I, think, I thought we did great. We didn't have any bad charge calls where we just went in there, uh, you know, wild and trying to throw different pa or difficult passes. So um, I thought we did pretty good with their, how they played on the defensive game. You talk about the front court. You know, I mean, you guys have so much versatility. It seems yeah. like you know, guys can step out and hit threes or lead the break. Yeah, uh, we have a good a good group of uh, front court players that all bring a different aspect to the game. Uh, like you said, Melson, Melson and Gabe come in there and they get every every block, every rebound. It seems like uh, me and Zach can do a different couple a couple different things, stepping out on an offensive end, um, guarding you know guards at, at some times. Um, like you said. Me or Mel, it seems like Mel did not this this year too. When we get a rebound, we can start the break on our own. Um, so you know, it's, it's good because it gives the other team a, a tough game plan against us. They don't know what we're going to do. They don't know what group we're going to go with at the front court. So, you know, coach really has good options there. I guess what's different about that compared to last year? You know, where you guys are able to get out and lead breaks like that. Yeah. Um, well, for me, I'm for me, I'm more confident taking a rebound and dribbling it up the court myself. Uh, you know, I did that a couple of times in practice, and Coach pulled me aside and he said, I, re I really like you doing that. That's a good, a good change of pace. You know, you're good enough with the ball to bring it up yourself and set the offense. So, um, you know, like I said, a big guy doesn't want to chase you from getting the rebound all the way down the court. So it's just, you know, difficult game plan for the other team. You guys have uh, plenty of interchangeable parts in this team. Do you just see yourself sticking at the three spot or the four spot more often in the games? Or? Uh, today, I played about evenly both three and the four so uh, it'll depend game on game uh, today the team was a little smaller so I think a couple times we went with a smaller lineup to match that um, but you know when we get to the Big Ten if we're playing a team like Michigan State who plays uh, Dawson at the three who's about 6'6 six, six, you know he might play me at the three to guard him so I mean, it's just going to depend on the matchups and depend on the team.